So this is my pathetic little diagram of the average movie theater. As you can see, I have circled a bunch of various seating options. The ones I have circled are the ones I believe to be the best areas for sitting with a service dog. Which one works best for you is all going to depend on a bunch of things. Your personal preferences, your medical needs, and also your individual dog. Now let's take a look at each seating position and talk about which type of service dog team they'd be best for. Number one. This is typically where the handicapped seating is, which is going to be best for those who use assistive devices such as wheelchairs, canes, or walkers, and it can also be good for those who have large breed service dogs and need the extra space. Once the theater is full and you are absolutely sure that no other handicapped people will be needing one of these seats, I suggest using one yourself as they are definitely the most comfortable option for both you and your dog regardless of whether or not you are physically disabled. This is also a really good place to sit if you need quick and easy access to the exit. Number two, this is the row of seating that is farthest back in the theater. If you are physically able to make it to the back row of seats and do not need quick and easy access to the exit for medical reasons, then this is definitely an ideal spot for you and your dog to sit throughout the movie. It's also a pretty good location to not have to worry about having to move to let other people in and out of the row. Number three is sort of a compromise between number one and number two. You have pretty quick and easy access to the exit while also sitting closer to the screen so you can actually see more of the movie while you're watching it. Only downside to this seating location is that you will often have to move to let people in and out of your row. Number four is what I like to call the sweet spot. Next to the handicap seating, this is just about the best place you're ever going to be able to sit. Quick and easy access to the exit for medical emergencies, an abundance of space if you have a large breed service dog, close enough that you can still enjoy the movie, but far enough away that you don't have to crane your neck just to look at the screen. The only downside to sitting in this position is that people often see your dog as they're walking in. Number five and number six. Let's face it, no one ever wants to sit here, but it's always good to have a backup seating arrangement just in case. And these are two locations where you will never ever have to worry about other people bothering your dog or even seeing your dog. 